How's it going everyone? It's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Transfer V2 on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. The Transfer is a two bike platform style bike rack. This bike rack has two different weight capacity options. So for the two inch hitch receiver, it's going to be able to support up to 60 pounds. The one we have here is an inch and a quarter and it supports up to 40 pounds per bike. The frame holds onto our bike primarily with this wheel hook here and an additional strap at the bottom and the back. I like that it uses the hook so it doesn't make any sort of frame contact, which is important if you have a carbon frame bike or an alternative frame bike. So it holds pretty much any kind of bike that you would be willing to put on it. A feature that this rack offers is the ability to tilt away. It also has this big opening in the middle here so you can actually get nice and up close. Push this lever down, you can do it with your hand or your foot and just tilt the bike away. One thing that we found though is the clearance that we have on this bike to get into the hatch does get a little bit close, so you might have to tilt the bike just a little bit to make sure that it clears. But once it opens, plenty of room back here. You can sit down, change your shoes, get something out of the back, or get a drink if that's something that you need to do. And the button is actually here. Now we'll go ahead and fold the bike rack back up. I like to hold on to the actual rack itself. It'll click. And now we can go ahead and get our bike off. Starting with the point in the back, just push this release and just slide the strap out. And for the hooks, there's this button here. Hold on to the bike while you're doing this. Push that up, get it off to the side, and you can lift the bike up and away. We'll go ahead and fold this hook back in the middle. Now's a good time to point out that our cradles here, they do support up to a five inch tire width, but the strap in the back doesn't quite reach that far, so you will have to get a longer strap. But while we put this strap away, it's a good time to point out that these cradles in the back do swivel back and forth to support multiple different wheel bases. Now that our bike is off, we can go ahead and get some measurements, starting with the distance that we're adding to the back of our vehicle here. From the back to these points at the end of the rack, you're coming in about 36 and a half inches, so it does stick out quite a bit. As far as ground clearance goes, you're gonna be looking at about 20 and a half inches to the nearest point. So it does get up quite a bit, but it does add a considerable amount of distance to the back of your vehicle. Another option this rack has is the ability to fold up against the car. So you use the same pedal as you used before, and now we can go ahead and grab some new measurements. So from the back of the vehicle to the furthest point now, it's only about 11 inches. And from the back to the closest point on the actual rack itself, you get about four inches of clearance. So that's plenty away from the car and it condenses the rack quite a bit. So the beauty of this rack is this open space in the middle here. It doesn't block pretty much any of the license plate, any of the backup camera, and both of your taillights are pretty visible as well. Again, this rack does come in two different options. The one here is using our inch and a quarter with a two inch adapter sleeve to fit in our two by two inch receiver tube held in place by this pin and clip. You can secure it with a security tool in the back, but we also do recommend that you get a lock that can fit on the end of this pin as well. Overall, I think the Kuat Transfer V2 is a solid bike rack. I do like the fact that you can get the accessibility in the middle of the bike rack there. If I were to compare it to anything, I would say maybe the Rocky Mounts monorail. Uh, it will provide a little bit more clearance when it tilts away. As we saw earlier, the handlebars got a little bit close in this case. But overall, I think it's a solid fit. And that was a look at the Kuat Transfer V2 on the back of our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee.